What's going on YouTube? Gio right here. So in today's video we have an important Electra update and also we're going to discuss about a possible untether for the 11.3.x jailbreak. Now I'm going to start with the Electra. The Electra team finally decided to take it on themselves to build that remount that is still missing and that prevents the um, Electra from being released. So you probably know that they've been waiting for Morpheus to create a remount and they've been waiting for a couple days now but Morpheus made it very clear that he's doing it in his free time and he's not on a tight schedule to do it so you better not wait for him. So Coolstar decided to take it on himself to do it. So he says, quote, we, the Electra team, are working on fixing up Spark's bypass ourselves now. Please lay off Morpheus as we are working on it ourselves now. So he mentions Spark's bypass and he is actually talking about this in here. Now, this has been posted by another security researcher, Min Spark Zeng, and it has been posted actually back on May 31, so it's been a long time. And he says, quote, our new research iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak internals remount a root file system. And he posts the link to a write-up describing the bug and how to exploit it. Now, the problem with this bypass is that it's not a full exploit, a fully working exploit that you can integrate in your code and just be done with it. So the problem with it is that you have to exploit it, you have to fix it, you have to make it work before you can use it in your code. And that's why Coolstar didn't use it until now. So now they will have to use it and they will have to fix it in order to make it work on iOS 11.3.1 and to make it stable because we're talking here about the jailbreak that will be used by maybe thousands of people. So it has to be a very stable one. What this means for you? Well, as I said, I'm not going to lie to you. I can simply say, you know, the jailbreak is coming soon or coming next week and so on like I have seen many other channels do. But I don't want to do that. The only purpose of this channel is to bring you accurate updates and information on what is currently going on. So what I'm going to tell you is that you still need to wait. And it's probably going to take a while. Now I'm not entirely sure how much because it's very very hard to estimate in here. Maybe it takes a few weeks, maybe it takes a few days, maybe it takes a few months, maybe it takes a month. I can't say for sure but it will take more time because they will have to build this themselves and of course it takes a lot of testing and so on but at least we know that we're waiting for something that will happen because up until now we've been waiting maybe Morpheus will release or not now we know that Coolstar will definitely release because they take it on themselves to do it so this is pretty much it about the Electra at least they started to do this thing with the remount the remount is the only thing that is required before we can get the Electra available for the general public so this last thing is taking a while but at least it's the last thing on the line before we get it to be released. Now what I also want to talk about is this in here. This person, Tim, actually posted this a few days ago which pretty much says launch daemon bug 1 and bug 2. Two bugs in the launch daemon which is a component of the iOS and apparently these can be used for a possible untether. What is an untether? Well for those of you who remember there were those jailbreaks that you did not need to you know trigger at every reboot. They automatically you know jailbroke your device when you restarted your phone and you didn't have to re-sign them every seven days. Now I think the last one to be untethered was ATA Sound Jailbreak, probably, I can't remember. But anyways, these are very very nice because you don't have to mess with CDI Impactor every week. They automatically jailbreak at reboot. So they are very nice but require this kind of vulnerabilities in order to trigger, which are quite rare. And this guy in here says, quote, We'll let others play once write-up is complete. I believe this would allow re-jailbreaking at boot. Haven't played around much with it yet on iOS 11.3.1. Appears to still be vulnerable on 12 beta, only compared binaries, not tested. And he also follows it up with this. Works very consistently on 11.3.1. Should be straightforward to have it untether. Very similar to the evasion bug. Not an exploit dev. Might not be very straightforward. So two takeaways in here. Tim is not an exploit developer so he will not create an exploit for these vulnerabilities and the vulnerabilities alone are not very useful if they're not exploited. So you have to create a code you know, to take advantage of these vulnerabilities. But somebody else can do it if the write-up he's going to release is clear enough on where the vulnerabilities are. So so what he says is that this works on iOS 11.3.1 and possibly works on lower versions too and if his idea is correct then this may work to you know create a 
jailbreak that is completely untethered on 11.3.1, which may of course remove the need of resigning every seven days and using the Cydia Impactor in a computer. So it's very important. I really hope he will release the um, you know write up. He said he will, and I really hope these vulnerabilities can be used to create an untethered jailbreak. But before we do that, we must have the jailbreak first. And I really hope that Coolstar will be able to create a remount using Spark's bypass in a timely manner. So yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated for more jailbreak related updates. I'm Gio Snow, and till the next time, peace out.